In 2011, when the silver price was almost 50 and flying high, there were people who predicted that in addition to the price of silver plummeting because it was had gone parabolic, there would be bullion dealers going out of business, what names you know, because the market would be falling so harshly. And that might have sounded ridiculous at the time, but here we are, 2014, and the Tobin Company has filed bankruptcy. And I, I found this blog, blog here. Um, one of my YouTube subscribers posted a comment saying Tobin closes doors. And this blog here says class action lawsuit. The Tobin Company out of, out of business. And that prediction had to come true. So per, so perhaps on par, part of the bottoming process is there, there are um, some bullying dealers that everybody knows that that go out of business and there th on YouTube there's a lot of outrage about many things but so far there doesn't seem to be much of an outrage about tolving customers who lost 500 ounces of silver or more because if you do business with tolving there's a minimum of 500 ounces of silver or also one tube of um, gold eagles or like one tube of, of platinum coins or whatever and that's a lot of bullion and there are people who never got their bullion, they might not ever get their bullion, there are people who sent them bullion, might never get their check, and that is pretty harsh, and, and that is pretty outrageous, and I find it almost interesting how there are people on YouTube who, who get reamed for maybe rightly or wrongly, but then you have people who are losing 500 ounces more of, of, of silver, and you don't hear much on YouTube about that. So we're a part of the silver community on YouTube, but we're only a small part of the silver community. So don't don't think that the entire silver industry is about YouTube. We're only a small part. I mean, I don't I don't I don't see comments posted everywhere saying Tolving ripped me off, you know. But it's it's happening. The people, so a lot of what's happening in the silver industry does not get posted to YouTube. And I think one reason might be is that and with Tolving, there's a minimum of 500 ounces. And I think most of YouTube doesn't operate in 500 ounce minimum um, lots of, of silver. So, wow, interesting article. And also, the person d here does speculate kind of um, a lot about what will happen, about um, unfilled orders, and they're talking about preference bankruptcy term. I'm not sure if that would apply to customers. Um, in, in, in a bankruptcy, there's something called preference where if someone gets paid within 90 day days of bankruptcy, they might have to send the money back because they might be they might be a friend or a relative or a preferred customer and all the people who lost are supposed to share sh share what's left over. So I don't know if this applies here or not. This person in the blog is, is speculating that, that it does. There's, this person is speculating that if you got a check within 90 days, you're going to have to send it back so that everybody can split the... Um, the I, I don't know about that or not, but um, I'm, not, I'm not a lawyer, but wow, watch yourself.